In this Playwright with TypeScript tutorial, I am going to discuss about how to capture screenshots in the Playwright automation framework. So firstly, we will see how to capture screenshot of the any web page element. And next, I will discuss how to capture the current page screenshot. And then finally, I will discuss how to capture full page screenshot in Playwright. So let's discuss the manual scenario. So what exactly we are, we are going to do in a couple of minutes. So I will open the youtube.com slash at the rate tester stock web page. And here I will identify one of the element. Then we will capture the screenshot of that. And next we will capture the this page screenshot and then finally we will capture the full page screenshot. Now I will navigate to the VS code. We will start creating a first simple one spec file and under that we will create a one test. So here I will go to the VS code. So firstly I will create a chapter 2 folder here under the tests. So here I will say a folder name as chapter 0 to that's it and inside the chapter 2 I am going to create a one spec file called 0 1 underscore screenshots underscore test dot spec dot ts that's it so i will go to the one of the previous spec file so simply i will copy the all the lines of code from the first test spec file that's it i'll come back to the zero one screenshots test dot spec file so simply i will paste it here so he, here i will delete the all unwanted lines so if you look at this template of uh, simple test so firstly we are importing the playwright module then here we are creating a test we are simply passing the test case title first so let me update the test case title here so here i'll say capture screenshots in playwright that's it now by using the browser page object I am navigating to the this particular URL previously. Now in our case, we have to go to the this particular URL. So simply copy this URL and I'll paste it here. That's it. So if you run this test, right? So simply It opens the browser and it enters the given URL. That's it. And if you see here, so our test is working perfectly fine. So firstly, what we will do is we will capture the element screenshot. Then we will capture page screenshot. Then finally, we will capture the full page screenshot. So firstly, let's identify the element so that we can capture the screenshot of that, right? So before we identify the element, what I will do is, so firstly, I will create a one simple folder called screenshots. 
So that is where we are going to save the screenshots. So here I'm adding a folder called, sorry. So here I'm providing a folder name as screenshots. So we will save all the screenshots in the screenshots folder. Now let's identify the one element from the youtube.com at the rate tester stock web page. So simply I will right click on this web page and I'll say inspect. And I will just scroll a little bit up here. So if you see here, so this particular div tag is highlighting the one element on the left side, which contains the YouTube channel details. So here I will use the this particular ID. So I will copy this ID and I'll press Ctrl F and I'll put hash and I'll paste the ID value here. So if you see here, so this locator is highlighting the only one element which is on the left side of the screen, right? So we have identified one element by writing a simple CSS selector by using the ID attribute. So I will copy this locator value then I will come back to the VS code here. So here I will use the await and I will use the page object dot locator. So simply I will pass the CSS selector value here and then and here I will call to the one method called screenshot. So inside the screenshot function we have to pa pass the location of the folder where we want to save the this particular element screenshot. So here this screenshot accepts one argument called path. So for this path we have to specify the location of the folder where we want to save the screenshot. And if you see here, so we have created a one simple folder called screenshots within the current project only right so simply I will specify the path here so dot slash screenshots so let me cross check is it the correct folder name or not so we have given the screenshots and followed by that we can specify the file name so here I'll say element screenshot dot png. That's it. We have firstly identified the element. Then we are calling to the screenshot method. And inside this we have passed the location of the folder where we want to save the screenshot and also we have specified the what is the screenshot name and here you can pass any extension you can also pass the jpeg also right now let's run the test and we will cross check it whether we are able to capture the element screenshot or not so i will run the test now
So let me go to the VS code here and if you see here, so let me close this browser. So our test is passing, right? And if you see the test results, our test is passing. So let's go to the screenshots folder now. And if you see here, so we are able to capture the element screenshot. So let's open this screenshot. And if you see here, so we have identified this particular element and also we are able to capture the screenshot of this, right? Now, similarly, let's capture the current visible page screenshot. So it is very simple again. So previously we have identified the element in, in that case. So only we are focusing on the particular element and we are capturing the screenshot. So this time we are not focusing on any element directly. We are capturing the screenshot of the visible web page. In that case, what I will do is I will remove the this locator. So after the page, simply I'm calling to the method called screenshot and here I'm simply passing the location where I want to save the screenshot. So here I will rename the screenshot file name as page screenshot dot png. That's it guys. Now let's verify whether we are able to capture the page screenshot or not. So it is very easy and simple also. So let me put a semicolon at the end. I will run the test now. So if you see here, it has launched the browser and it is it has executed the scenario also. If you see here, so our test is working fine. So let's, if you observe here on the left side under the screenshots folder. So firstly, we have captured the element screenshot.png file, right? And then if you see here the next screenshot, this is the page screenshot, right? You can go to this location and also you can open the screenshot also like this if you are unable to open it in the IDE. So this is how you can capture the screenshot of the element and page also. Now let's see how you can capture the screenshot of the full page. So it is very simple. You can use the same line, but you need to pass the one additional parameter as full page is equal to true. So I will copy the same line and I'll paste it here. So firstly, when we are capturing the screenshot of any element or a current visible page, so simply we were passing the location of the folder where we want to save the screenshot. And apart from this, when we, when you are trying to capture the screenshot of the full page, you need to pass the another parameter here. So parameter name is full page and you need to specify the flag as true. That's it. So let me add the proper screenshot name. So here I'll say full page screenshot dot PNG. So once again, I will run this test. So this time we will be capturing the full page screenshot also. So that's it guys. So if you see here, so our test is passing and also you can check the screenshots folder. So let me go to this folder. And if you see here, we are able to capture the screenshot of the full page, full page as well. And if you see here, 
So this is the full page screenshot. So firstly we have captured element screenshot. This is the one and uh, second time we have captured page screenshot that is a current visible page screenshot and third time we are capturing the full page screenshot. So this is how you can capture the screenshots in the playwright automation framework.